shares of Alibaba sinking this morning after the Chinese e-commerce giant narrowly missed top line street expectations even after announcing a $25 billion boost to its share buyback program. That's the focus of today's Tech Check segment with our Deirdre Bosa. Deirdre, how are you reading these results? Well, I'm reading them in that a buyback just isn't enough because Alibaba's problems are its fundamentals and capital returns aren't going to gloss over that. Its core e-commerce business, it is barely growing and spinoff plans have hit a snag. At the heart of Baba's decline and Chinese stocks at large is still this idea that they are uninvestable. Take a look at this chart of Alibaba shares and the Hang Seng, that's Hong Kong stock index, since December of 2022. They have moved in tandem. Christmas time in 2020, that was the key inflection moment. The Chinese government launched an antitrust investigation into Alibaba, introducing a wild card to the market at large. It essentially told investors that Beijing could and would interfere at any time even taking aim at its largest and most successful companies. Didi's botched IPO would follow. Another internet giant, Tencent, would be targeted by gaming curbs. The crackdown that started with Alibaba and its affiliate Ant Financial, Ant Group, would change the field entirely and allow a potentially more powerful class of Chinese giants to emerge. Pinduoduo, Huawei, BYD, these are the success stories of the last few years. And Alibaba represents the decay of the old guard. To try and win back investor confidence, it has moved Jack Ma out of the spotlight, restructured the entire company, and tried to spin off its cloud unit. Nothing has seemed to work. And its market cap, take a look at this, it went from a peak of more than $800 billion to less than $200 billion today. That expanded buyback, guys kind of like Alibaba's damage control, and that might keep investors in the stock, but it does not address those fundamentals that are declining. And similarly, Beijing's recent measures to support the stock market, that may also be short-lived because it's this broader backdrop, guys, that China may just be uninvestable.